Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to Samvad. Today, I have a silent crusader uh, from Hamlet, uh, a lady we all have heard of and. I don't know how many of us know her because uh, this is the first time I am face to face with uh, Roli. Roli, hi. Roli lives in Tower Eleven. Roli, I don't I even know your know. full name. I am hopeless. I'm really sorry. So uh, really please tower. introduce. Thank you, and uh, please introduce mm -hmm. yourself and uh, tell us about yourself. Um, when you came to Hamlet, where are you from, and uh, you know what do you do? Tell us. Sure. So. Uh, I, I came to Hamlet in 2016 and uh, I am an HR professional. I've done an MBA in HR and uh, I was working with Satyam and then GE. And uh, after my daughter was born, I took the UGC net and started a PhD in HR. And I was teaching at Amity University. And uh, right now I'm studying HR analytics and my intent is to go back to the corporate. So that's what I do. Now, the, regarding what we're talking, my interest in the environment and uh, how I got entangled, I think one thing leads to the other. So because I am a lifelong admirer of nature and uh, I have always uh, been touched by how beautiful it is and not just beautiful, how well managed and synchronized it is. I, I just got started interested more and more. You know, you're, you're known in Hamlet for all your eco initiatives. So uh, that's a surprise to me. No, no, we all know. We all know, you know, she's the one who goes and waters the plants and she's the one who, you know, takes people along with her to plant the seeds and the saplings and everything. You are the one who goes to needs and says plastic covering utardo. We know huh. all that and we have been, we've been discussing these things in the groups. But uh, what, what I was wanting to know a little bit more about you was, you know, where are you from? Where did you do your schooling? What about okay. your college? Yeah. Yeah, so I was I was uh, born and raised in Nagpur, and uh, my graduation was there. But for my MBA, I went to IMT Ghaziabad. That's where I met my husband. And uh, then we were working. We lived in a lot of different places: Hyderabad, Chennai, Bangalore, uh, Gurgaon, Jaipur, Calcutta, a lot of cities. And finally, in two thousand and sixteen. We dropped our anchor here. Okay, fabulous. So, so now, now we'll come back to sorry where we were and uh, where did these uh, eco initiatives is what I'm going to call them. Where did they start and and how did you you know what was the first thing like kind of that you did and what all did you take up? So uh, I have I have been a lifelong admirer of nature. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How it it is not just that it's beautiful. It is. It is so well balanced. It's like a mathematical equation, so precise and accurate. And that, that's what I really like about nature. And I don't like the role my species plays in this whole mix. And uh, I, I try to, and I think it's because of bad uh, behavior, things that we learned in our quest for consumerism. And so I, I wanted to correct those and I'm still trying to correct those. So that's how I, so for example, waste is something that really bothers me. So I started composting and I saw how rewarding it is to see that your compost, like your waste reduces by 70% just because you take out the green waste from it. And I felt so good doing those things and you make bioenzymes and you can make so many useful things out of things and so I think one thing leads to the other. And I don't think, I think I'm at the starting of that journey. There's really lots to do, but I'm really enjoying it. That is, that is absolutely, absolutely awesome. So now uh, I need some details from you, uh, which you have told me, but for uh, the people who are going to be watching or reading this interview, what all exactly are you doing in Hamlet? Uh, you know, separately, please tell me and then also tell me what all you are doing at home. So, no. in Hamlet, I think I'm doing very little. I think other than those, I don't think those plants to me, I'm doing anything for Hamlet. 
because those plants were there on Janpath and I used to go for a walk every morning and I used to see they are so small and it was so hot last year in May that I knew they will die. And I just started very simply. I saw these oil cans, they were empty. I filled them with my home water and I started watering them. So that was a very small thing. Then my daughter and me, more for the sake, because we both wanted to do something together, we started this initiative and we named it the House of Waste Users. And we did a couple of sales on the, and it was a lot of fun. It was more fun than anything meaningful. Yes, yes. And uh, we would use whatever was discarded in the house. For example, those cream boxes, and we would make something with dovinchi and pista nuts out of it. And we'd try to, uh, even at home, we, we created a few things which we are still using and hopefully you'll come home and see them someday. Yes, I really and, uh, But on the home front, I have done, a, I think I am moving steadily towards my goal of being sustainable. Yeah. I have started composting. It's been one year now. And uh, like I was telling you, it's really rewarding to see your uh, waste reduce from like so much to so much. And now there are some days when the kachra wala comes and I say that bhai, aaj kuch bhi nahi hai. I have nothing no wow. waste that to give you. That it's is such a good awesome. feeling. That's you know, there's nothing, it's not, it's not even half full. Because truth is, most of the waste we generate is green waste. And it's not waste, it's something valuable. With just small effort from us, we can really convert it. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been doing that and that's been a real kick for me, composting. I have been making bioenzymes and we've been selling them under the house of waste users. Wow. And uh, we, uh, other than these two, well, I do my own explorations with the environment and nature. But like in terms of my initiatives, I would say these are the only two. Oh, but that is definitely a lot and that is what we talk about and I remember when I called you the first time that you know I want to talk to you about this the first thing we talked about was can we talk to needs about removing the plastic covering from the shimla yes. you know yes and, and, um, but uh, you know needs is my favorite because when I look at milk basket I hate milk basket I'm ready to kill milk basket you know, the amount of plastic they use, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. horrible. Yeah. And needs, what I really like is, it's right there. So, you know, some days I can, I, I don't know the people who run the place, but I know Arun Bhaiya there. So, some days I go in and I tell Arun Bhaiya, Arun Bhaiya is plastic, ko ye tray mein chipkana zaruri nahi hai, hum aise bhi kharit sakte hai, banana, yeah. capsicum ko plastic mat chadhaiye. And, you know, so he's a person and that's what is so important. He's, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. right there. So, that's what I like about local. You know, there's yeah. a face. Yeah. A face. So, yeah, I, I think we will reach that moment when needs will finally stop wrapping their dhania and pudina and capsicum and plastic. On my part, whenever I go there to shop, I take out the plastic and put it there. So now Arun Bhaiya knows. So when he sees I'm coming, he said, Madam, do you have to take out the plastic? You have to keep it for So yeah. He does the same we'll with get I put it in his hand and I tell him, I to cover to cover because I don't want to take yeah. it. I don't want to take yeah. all that print film. To I hope house. more people do it because if more people do it, then he will realize what a waste yeah. and he'll stop yeah, yeah. doing it. Yeah. So, so yeah. we have, we have uh, Sanjay and Sherry Bhatia living in Tower 4 who are, uh, you know, closely associated with needs and I think the owners or the part owners or something. I think and Sanjay helped, to helped, to them. helped me and me and Vandana were once covering. So, uh, you know, these palms, they are cut. Yeah. Yeah. So when the palm leaves are cut, so me and Vandana took all the palm leaves and we were covering, we were basically mulching the janpat ka jo beach wala path hai, anji, anji. the trees with that. Anji. So Sanjay, Sanjay did help us. I did not realize that uh, he's yeah, the yeah, 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 owner yeah. of needs. So yeah. He's the right person. I'll talk to him next time. He's the right person. We are going to reach them right through this interview, Roli. Definitely. You and I yes. are going to get through to them. And Sanjay and Sherry, listen Sherry, to us. No of, course, of course. Always, always the most approachable people. And uh, so, so now that you know, we're talking about uh, all this waste that everybody's generating and not some so many times not realizing I remember when we started segregating the waste, I had such a tough time telling my cook that uh, aap isko alag rakho. 
तो क्या फर्क पड़ता है दीदी वो सब इकट्ठा ही तो हो जाएगा एंड आई टोल्ड हर के इकट्ठा नहीं होगा एंड वी हैड अ मेजर आर्ग्यूमेंट बिकॉज शी कॉल द हाउस कीपिंग एंड हाउस कीपिंग सेड येस आई एम गोन गो एंड डम्प इट ऑल टूगेदर यू गिव मी टू बैग्स यू गिव मी सिक्स बैग्स इट डजेंट मैटर टू मी so now today you've had a very interesting uh, interaction with somebody about waste segregation in hamlet wo bhi bataiye or uh, okay i don't think it for uh, now it's my place to talk about it because honestly this is something that uh, zubin to be precise he's he's the one who deserves to be talking about it because okay. he's the one who's bringing it here wow you know? it takes a lot of you know it takes a lot of uh, will to change and i think uh, hopefully zubin will be the person who will get this changed for us so it's his baby to talk about and it won't be right of me to All talk right. about sure. it yet we'll catch but it. Uh, yeah. let me let me just say that thanks to zubin something good is going to happen in hamlet and so very good hopefully. very good very good roli so yeah. quickly now tell us what do you advise us to do people who are not who know about it just just you know on the surface um, and are not really uh, clear about what exactly they should be doing and how it can be taken further uh, thoda sa idea dijiye ki hum regularly i mean let me say maybe my kitchen waste what all can i do you know with the egg shells and the child so and the i want you to not just think about it in terms of activities that you can do it stems from a philosophy and the philosophy has is called the 3r philosophy right reduce reuse recycle yeah. and in that order so first is reduce yeah. you know we in ats one hamlet as the privileged do have access to a lot you know yeah but just because we have access to a lot does not mean you serve every dish in the buffet right yes. just because i can afford to buy four shoes doesn't mean i buy four shoes i should buy what i need that is it is not that you can or cannot afford it this environment this planet cannot afford it so i want you to start thinking the moment you start thinking of it as a philosophy the actions will come to you more naturally you know yeah. you will figure out what is the way to put things to use yeah in the immediate environment around you that that is the most important you know to make that for example in my house chicken is eaten a lot i cannot stop it i am a vegetarian but my family loves their chicken so i have figured out for me those chicken bones i cannot compost them they don't compost right i cannot throw them that is something i it, it, i should not be doing so i have figured out there are dogs and i go and i feed them the chicken bones and i make sure that food is never thrown that yeah. is something so these these solutions come to us when we start thinking and i think the biggest r that all of us need to think about is reduce we have to only work on our needs and not our desires yeah so i think as a thinking cognizant human being that is the most important thing but if you want to talk in terms of things you can do with your waste composting is a big yes but having done it it is tough it's not easy there is a science to it it's almost like an experiment you have to monitor the waste there is a lot of knowledge you have to combat it with because there will be maggots they are but you have to tell yourself these maggots are not bad for me yeah. the white soldier fly maggots they are good for me in fact they eat this time i don't even have one fly in my balcony because where my compost is now that it's it's an environment where the white soldier fly maggots are breeding because they eat my compost yeah, they yeah. are the ones who do all the magic and they also eat the house flies so i don't have that so but it was not easy to open that bin and see those 1000 white maggots wiggling there for this scary so uh, before you compost maybe one thing you can do is bioenzymes and they are very simple so you for example i i don't do uh, the t- traditional uh, cockroach or any pest treatment what i do is i collect my garlic and chili and i make a bioenzyme out of it mm-hmm. and it's a very powerful bioenzyme and that ensures there's no cockroach there are no ants there are no pests on your plants and uh, it's a very potent uh, thing even to wash your fruits and vegetables and bioenzymes are very easy to make so i think that that should be your first step before composting composting takes some time 
Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much, Roli, for taking out time and telling us. And we feel so happy that you know I, I've I've realized I've been told that you carry all the water to go and water those plants. And it's you- just two cans, ten uh, liters, and I think I owe those plants for a good muscle tone. Yes. So absolutely, I think- <laughs> absolutely. You know, come. I think I, I really hope that more people start doing it because uh, you know, right now, touch wood, things are really hunky dory. But yeah. once we enter that uh, March, April, wala zone, it really becomes hot. Yeah. And then, if we don't support the small saplings uh, through those critical three four months, they will perish. Yeah. And if you look at Janpath right now, it is as gorgeous as as it is because of the trees. Yes, yes. So the course. trees are the John, the yeah, soul yeah, yeah, of right. any yeah. ecosystem. So we have to nurture them. They are valuable. They absolutely are, and your work is also very valuable, uh, Roli. No, it's uh, a pleasure, Pooja. It's a, entirely I, I my pleasure. It. I completely get it, and I hope that. And I'm really course, happy to see you finally. We have yeah. been talking, and I've never yeah. seen you. So let's let's hope that you know all the children and everybody else who watches this get. Uh, uh you know all enthused to start off and uh, thank you so much and uh, more kudos a to pleasure. you and wish you all the best and i hope you do very very well as our green crusader and turn hamlet also into you know uh, absolutely magical just the way you can thank you thankfully so much. there are there are a lot of others also helping and supporting so yeah. looking for including you so looking forward <laughs> to this Thank you. Thank you so much Roli for taking out time for some vaat. Thank you. Bye bye.